Okay, I wanted to record a quick video showing how to import a tracking sequence recorded in Skyglass and render it using Unreal Engine. So I have already recorded a tracking sequence using Skyglass and exported the USDA file from Skyglass. And now I've opened Unreal Engine to the same scene that I used to uh, create my, my, my clip in Skyglass. And um, the first thing you're going to need to do is to enable a couple of plugins. So the first one is the USD importer. You need to make sure that's enabled. And secondly, the movie render queue. You want to make sure movie render queue is enabled. If those are, uh, if those aren't enabled, you'll need to restart your editor to enable them. And then the second thing you'll, um, want to do is you're going to open up the USD import window. So if you go window, um, virtual production and then USD stage you can do file open and choose your tracking sequence .usda file go ahead and don't use a default cache you don't need to worry about that and once you've done this you can do actions import and this will import all of the tracking data as an asset uh, an Unreal Engine asset so I'm just going to go ahead and save it in my content root and keep all the defaults. Okay, once you've done that, the USD stage folder uh, window will be empty, so you can go ahead and close that. And you'll see that in this tracking sequence folder, there's a level sequence that I can open. And so this level sequence um, has all the tracking data from Skyglass. Now, before we're able to render this out, we're gonna need to create one more track. So I'm gonna click the plus track button here and cho choose camera cut track. This um, track determines which camera is being used to render the image. So I'm gonna click the plus button here and choose the only camera we have. And now if I click the little lock viewport button, uh, you'll see that the viewport is, uh, in the viewport you'll see um, the scene that is being rendered, which matches the sequence that I captured using Skyglass. So that all looks great. Once that's done, there's just one more thing you should check, which is up here, make sure that your game mode is the game mode base. You can change this in the project settings under um, maps and modes here. You can choose your game mode. It might work in some other game modes, but um, that's something to check if it isn't working for you to make sure you're using the default game mode. Um, once you've got that all set up, you can click this button to render out the sequence. I'm just going to leave the settings um, to be the default. Um, you can change that if you want. I'm also going to leave the output directory to be the default. And then I'm going to hit render local. And it's going to start rendering. Um, and it's just going to go through all the frames of the video. All right, and that's done. Now I can go here to the folder where it's saved and you'll see all those frames have been saved out as JPEG images um, that I can import into any other software. Hope that helps.